I must say this, this was very tough for the team. The first half they were very strong. We must give it to them. We, we did not do much. Even though we got into the final third several times, but we could not even get it. We had a short goal because of those final decisions, those final mistakes. One getting lost from Tesh, one getting lost from EK, one getting lost from Morena. And in and, and those situations, we ultimately the result to encounter attacks, which I think we did very well in the first half. But second half, there were some scary moments where they were really, really very strong. We said, this is really, they are very strong. And we, we were trying the best we can not to give them anything around the place because the police have got very, very good deliver them. They've got very aggressive players on services, but to be being one of, of their best players on the services. It was just unfortunate that we, we never really needed something, even when we got uh, maybe one of our biggest chances was when Tiwani played that ball to make a way with expectation to receive and finish. But on the day it was just not to do. Uh, we never really had much of a control of the game. Second half, I think we improved a little bit in that regard. But even, even though we improved in that, but we still had a lot of counter checks against us. Our last defense was uh, questionable in some moments. And uh, I just think the, game, the speed of the game was also very slow. We did not play the way one would have loved us to play, where we move the ball a little bit faster and give ourselves a chance to, to, to dominate the match and, and shift a team that works very hard because we must give them credit. They are a team that works very hard. Even if you've got moments to get behind them, if you are not fast enough, by the time you, you try to play the ball inside, everybody else is, is behind the ball. They are only there to child the maybe and a ball is we, we should congratulate them. I think they played well. And I think they deserve to do that. I mean, it was scary because uh, the yellow card for them were in the privileged mate. But when Marcelo got a yellow card, when I thought he was the one who probably fouled, I then realized that we are in for it. And we must make sure that we, we take them out and bring new players in, which I think terms I think who came in and played very well. But unfortunately, uh, just when we thought we were getting the grip of the game, Tesh gets injured, uh, Mabena gets injured, then you, now you must you must try and make some more changes from there. And I think that's where maybe the rhythm of the game was also lost. But the truth is, first off, we, we did not create much. And second enough, we did not create much. And they are a very good defending team, to be honest. We, we must never take that away from them. They are a team that is very stingy in giving away goals. But we, we really try to move them. But even in moments where you thought we should get something, the police has shot at the end, maybe it should have been. Uh, if I'm short, if I'm where he could not even take the shot, because I don't know what happened there, whether the wind moved the ball or what, I still have to check it. But uh, I, I was not impressed. I was not impressed with the speed of play. I was not impressed with our chance creation. I was not impressed with our decision making in the final threat. And it's areas that we must work very hard on to try and get ourselves back because we thought we had improved uh, tremendously in that regard. And this is the team that uh, was playing against us just the other day and that scored five goals. And if today they could be struggled to even have a shot on target, then we should be one. Short level of games, coach. Um what was uh, time on the training pitch? Uh, how do you sort of get these boys back? It's a little bit difficult because now we always have a match day, a match day minus one, match day plus one, which is your match day minus two, uh, and it becomes very difficult to prepare the team, which is why we are also reliant on mainly using the match day to, to train the team that we are anticipating to meet after so that it, it has a little bit more training days but when you have traveled and you are away from home it's a little bit difficult because now we are here it's a sunday we are we are arriving tomorrow 
we have Tuesday, we have Tuesday only to play a game against on Wednesday. It's, it's a little tough, but we cannot complain because every other team is experiencing the same. It's better when we are in this situation with everybody else. It's not like it's only Sundowns that is it's, it's having back-to-back -back matches. Everybody is in the same boat. Let's see what's going to happen. Everybody will have to swim. Coach. Uh, this was your second game against Mamelo, I mean against the uh, City. You found it very difficult to beat them uh, in the MTN8, having won in the extra time. Did you anticipate that it would be a difficult day today? No, no, I did. I did anticipate it's going to be a difficult game. Uh, the one in the MTN8, I think it was it was much easier than this one. I think we created a lot of scoring opportunities on that one. But on this one, I don't want to lie. We, we really struggled to, to find openings, we really struggled to find our turns, to be able to, to, to force them to defend facing their goals. We, we lost too many balls in that final moment, that final pass, that final decision was always not one of the best and that's where the game was. But in anticipating that it's going to be a difficult game, I can tell you, every time we are coming to play for one city, it's never is. more especially in this pitch. Do you have a diagnosis on test and uh, C? No, I haven't. I haven't had anything, but it does not look good. Uh, and coach, you know, when you look at a single, everybody talks about how you know defenders mature with eight. I mean, it's still at the age of nineteen. It's a type of maturity that he shows when he has the ball. How he moves forward, how he tracks back. Which players his age and never you know, not got into that point? Mm -hmm. No, that's that's very impressive. I don't want to to lie to you. Know, it's one player that. Uh, surprises all of us when you consider that just last season he was a DDC player for for Sepukwone and suddenly he is uh, amongst the serious contenders for the first spot in the in the Sundowns camp. And he, he plays very well and the good thing about him, which is very unusual from a youngster, he's very consistent. And youngsters are normally not very consistent and he's very consistent and one just hopes and prays that he does not get injured. Good. A big moment for Ronwen and a big moment for the club tomorrow. What do you make of the moment and maybe just a message of support? That man is very good for the club, it's very good for the country, and it's very good for the continent to, to get recognized at that level. And I think uh, for the player himself and his family, it's also something unbelievable because nobody would have thought that a goalkeeper from Sundowns would uh, get a nomination into the Ballon d'Or uh, as one of the best goalkeepers in the world and that speaks volumes and the fact that he, he is even there regardless of the outcome it's, it's, it's very big, it's very big for African football, it's very big for Mamelo de Sundowns and it's very big for all of us as South Africans so we're very proud that we've got one of our own representing us at that level of football. Coach, um, I know it's not a place, but you are one of the, the senior coaches in the country. Uh, I know you are on the receiving end here today, but when you look at Kuti, uh, Kuti Mahafe, uh, when you look at him, uh, does he give you a sense of pride that the young black African coach um, is punching above a weight at the club like what is it? No, I've known this boy for, for more than 10 years now. And uh, you can ask him. I told him you will become one of the best coaches in this country. The first time I, 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 I saw him, I think we were playing a precision friendly, and I was listening to him when he was talking to his team uh, on the bench, and I, I, I heard that this boy has got attention to detail, and he's got, he's got a lot to give to South Africa. And from that time up until now, our relationship has always been very good. He's one boy that I'm, I'm very optimistic he will make this because he understands the game, he loves the game, and he, he pay, he's, got, he's got attention to the team. And honestly speaking, if you look at the team, uh, I don't know who recruits players for Polo City, but if you look at this team and they are recruitment, you will see that they really have a lot of very good players. A lot of very good players. And they must be given credit. And I was speaking to, to someone else the other day, prior, far away from this match. And I said, one of the teams that has really recruited very well is Polowane City. And I, I do think they are a team that is going to be a big threat. Uh, you will always be concerned with how far is, uh, they will go. But I knew that they will be a threat because the team they have is quite strong. And the coach they have, 
is quite good. I, I, I respect him a lot and we, we are very close. Coach, any update on Temba Zwane's injury? Still too far. Still too far. Still in the first, in the second week. Uh, for the four months that we are anticipating for the injury. Still too far. Thank you, Thanks, Coach. Thank you.